I wanted to shoot a very quick video on how we can validate measurements and transfer cross-sectional cross images to determine body fat percentage. So without further ado, let's jump into the new software. This is the ProFit software. Um, we're going to move into the, the scan feature. The live scan feature allows us to take cross-sectional ultrasound images of any part of the body to determine the thickness of both fat and muscle tissue. So what we're going to do is let's just make sure we've got it on one point bicep here go into the scan feature uh, enable the scan the small amount of gel on the, the body metrics device we're going to go from the midpoint of the bicep down to the crease in the elbow very slowly we're going to take this cross-sectional scan to determine the true thickness of fat and muscle Okay, once that's done, what we can do is track these interfaces. So the first interface that we see here, the first strong echo and white area is the fat muscle interface. So this is the thickness from the midpoint here, three millimeters is the thickness of fat tissue on my bicep. If we stop that track and track another interface and look at this very thick line here, this is the muscle bone interface. By clicking on here, we can determine the true thickness of muscle tissue. We can just adjust that down here. Um, the true thickness of muscle tissue on my bicep, which is 33.9 millimeters. Now, if we stop tracking these and clear them all off, what we can actually do, because we know the true thickness of fat tissue on my bicep, is actually just draw a marker here so we can draw these anywhere. So if we wanted to measure the, the thickness of, of muscle tissue, the thickness of fat tissue, the, the different thickness of tissue structures within there, we can actually just move this marker here to three millimeters or where we determine the fat thickness to be, and then simply transfer this measurement to the body composition formula. So save that. And what you'll see when we move into the body composition formula where we usually determine body fat percentage, is that this measurement's been transferred over and it actually gives us a body fat percentage. Now, traditionally, when we take body fat measurements or body composition measurements, um, we, we start in this, this area here, this part of the screen, this part of the software, sorry. So when we want to measure a point here, we do it slightly different. We don't go from the midpoint down to the crease. We simply go from the, the mid, midpoint of any part of the body. So we're going to go from the midpoint of the bicep now and move up and down from the midpoint approximately quarter of an inch either side of that midpoint so holding the button down we move the body metrics up and down and look for strong amplitude signals so that first one is the fat muscle interface which we already determined on the scan feature so um, we're going to take another measurement here it's working quite slowly because i'm shooting a video at the same time and then release that one take a third measurement Okay, so this has given us 3.3 millimeters, so 0.1 of a millimeter out, which I'm happy with there, and um, given us the same body fat percentage. So we can measure body fat percentage this way, and obviously we, if we wanted to be more accurate, we, we've got all of these different formulas that we're able to use to do that. Um, or we can go to validate those measurements and ensure that we're actually scanning the correct tissue thickness. We just use the scan feature, which we, which we had a look at earlier on. So um, that's how we can transfer scan measurements from the live scan feature to body composition and how we can validate measurements that we've taken for accuracy. If you have any questions, visit Cartwright Fitness and we'll be happy to answer.